<laughs> Safety third. Hello and welcome everyone to the first update from 2023. Happy New Year everyone! But um, before that we are still talking about the progress from last December of course. Um, as it was expected there wasn't a huge progress in December because towards the end of the year uh, as usual there was a lot of wrapping up work to do. Um, for example I had to tidy up after the last big shoot in November um, putting the office set in storage and all the props we used and things like this. And also I cleaned out my workshop a bit because it was a mess in the last months. Um, but besides this, um, there were still some nice things which got finished. Um, first of all, these nice chandeliers for the next office set are now finished and with all the light bulbs glowing, this looks now really nice. And yeah, these chains here are loose, which is usually a really bad idea in stop motion sets. But I think it should be fine, because there's no animation going on in close proximity here. So I think we can get away with clean plates for these chandeliers. So that's this. Also, the new little paintings for the next set are now all finished and glued to their frames. So just some examples here. Um, there are lots of food paintings and things in the next set, um, but that's also nice to have finished. Okay, so what else? Um, last month I have briefly mentioned that we are having problems with our 3D printing for the molds for the next human character. And luckily one of our Patreon supporters reached out to us, Thomas Meissner, who is usually working with industrial 3D printing to create prosthesis for teeth as far as I know, which is quite amazing. I didn't know that's possible nowadays. Um, yeah, and he offered his help to create some molds for us and that's really amazing. And the first results he sent to us look really astonishing. Um, they just look like a molded piece of plastic. Um, the seams from the 3D printing are barely visible and it really seems like that's some high quality mold here. Um, sadly we didn't have the time to try it out yet, but that will be one of the first things to do in January. Um, so that's really great, thank you so much Thomas. As I said, um, shooting on the main office set is now completed, which was the major milestone of the last year. But um, before we're going to change that set around to an entirely new one now, I wanted to try out an idea I had in mind for many years now, which just didn't work out in stop motion, but I wanted to give it a try anyway. So the idea was to have some light rays coming in through the window and make them visible with some, some fog or haze in the set to make it look yeah, a bit of a steamy environment and I thought this would look really cool. And it also was a great opportunity to try out something different with the new motion control system. So instead of moving the camera around here, we had it move the light source so the ray would produce a nice movement throughout the office. Um, so that was the idea, um, just something nice to play around. And Toby helped me here to create the haze and film everything. And yeah, I think that was just a bit of fun and produced some really nice beauty shots of the set, which was kind of a nice end point for this set and yeah, now we're going to take it apart and turn it into something new, of course. On that occasion I also wanted to take the opportunity to finally make a proper making of video for this set because I started working on it way back in 2020 and there was so much footage I never showed and yeah it was really necessary to turn this into a nice video I think. 
but I just didn't find the time for many years. But now as everything is done shooting, we had also lots of animation time lapses and the footage from the last shoot in November and everything. And I think it was the best time to put everything into one nice video just about this set. And that was also one of the major things we did in December. The editing on this video was done by Wenzel Venor, who is a new helper who has quite a bit of experience with YouTube and he offered to do the editing on one making of video for me, which was really kind and I also think he did a great job um, because it was very difficult to piece this together from the vast amount of footage I had. So I think he did a great job and yeah, it was a huge help. Thank you very much, Wenzel. I'm really glad I could finally show some footage from the making of this set, so if you haven't watched it already, go check it out on YouTube here. I think 2022 was a really successful year for the project, because we made quite a bit of progress and also reached some major milestones, which is really nice. And also the overall pace of progress got a bit faster, I think, and that's thanks to the ever-growing team of my amazing helpers, who now work with me together on that project which is really amazing. Thank you all very much. But of course, um, working on a project like this remains very stressful. Doing all the planning ahead, the organizing, um, the work itself, and also preparing all the rewards and update videos every month. So um, that's that, but I think I'm getting more and more used to it. And also the stress is getting more bearable, I think. And that's also thanks to all these amazing supporters on Patreon and elsewhere who support my work here and really grant me a kind of base income to work on. And yeah, thank you all so much. That's really appreciated. As I already mentioned in the update video of last month, there will be a little giveaway of some original screen used props from the last shoot of the office set. So that's also something we have readily prepared in December now. And so everyone on the Steam in a chart tier or above will receive a little envelope or something in a little frame now. And if you want to receive one as well, there's an extended deadline until the end of January. So everyone who becomes a patron on the Steam in a chart tier by then will also receive a little unique thingy. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now taking a look at the big picture at the entire progress of last year and our plans for the next one. Um, we are currently at 23 minutes of completed animation, which is an increase by 4 minutes over the course of the last year. Um, that accounts to 77% of the entire movie, and it's really nice to have finally crossed the 3 quarters mark. So, um, in the last year we animated 13% of the movie, so if we can keep up the current pace, which we hopefully can, um, shooting will be done in about 2 years. And I really hope we can do this, and I think it's a realistic estimate. So, fingers crossed, this will work out. And for 2023, our first goal will be the completion of the Human Boss Office, the next office set, which we are working on for many months now, so there's not that much things left. We have all the furniture, the chandeliers, and many of the props already. So um, the main thing which needs to be finished is the room itself and the character, of course. So that's that. As soon as that's finished, um, another animator is going to do the animation on this set, probably. So while that is going on, we will start working on the next huge set, which will be the final big set of the movie. Um, a huge scrapyard environment, which I'm looking forward to for many years now, and I really can't wait to get started on this. So. That's that. Um, I'm really optimistic for next year. Fingers crossed everything will work out nicely. And yeah, thank you so much for all your support throughout the last year. So yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Have a good one. Bye bye.